In today's video, I'll be talking about email archiving in Office 365 and why you should be thinking about using a third-party product like MailStore Server to do your archiving instead of the tools that Microsoft give you. Now, of course, Microsoft do have archiving options in 365, and the, you can pretty much group them into two camps. You've got the basic drag and drop rules-based archiving that comes with the entry-level plans, like the business uh, business premium, and then you've got the features that you pay for. So you can either add a bolt-on to those packages, um, or you can go for an enterprise plan, which then enhances the functionality and brings it more in line with what you might see in a product like MailStore. Okay, so I've shortlisted six key reasons you might want to think about using MailStore Server with your Office 365 sets. Now the first one is protecting against data loss. And you're probably thinking, don't worry, I'm with Office 365, I've got a multi-billion pound, pound uh, cloud infrastructure there supporting me, I've got nothing to worry about, my data is safe. Now Microsoft do have a terrific infrastructure, they've got data redundancy for disaster recovery, but that is for them and not for you as the user, which leaves you quite exposed. If you don't have anything in place and you've got a mailbox corruption or there's a quirk with your a licensing change and suddenly that mailbox disappears, which, which does happen if you look in the community forums, it, it is known, then to have something like MailStore Server on site that you can very easily query, uh, pull back a, an individual folder and, and export gives you that, that extra layer of protection that, that you should have if you're using a cloud service. When an employee leaves your company, it may well be that you're happy to say, good riddance, delete their mailbox and let them leave without a trace. In other cases, you need access to that person's email. With MailStore, you only pay for the email that's being archived actively. So if you've got a user that's no longer there, you can simply recycle that license, ready for the next person to start, and keep access to that mailbox, either as an administrator or as another user, uh, or as a team. With Office 365, you've got to carry on paying for that license. However you do it, whether you put it on a, on a hold for access or you carry on with a, a normal business account, you're paying month on month, year on year for that person who's not even there anymore. Another reason to use MailStore Server with Office 365 is the way that it handles accidentally deleted items. Users, as it stands, have a deleted items folder in 365, and they can, of course, pull things back from that, but only for 30 days. So if you happen to clear that out, come 31 days, that's it. You can't pull a message back by yourself, and you need an administrator, and even the administrator's only got a small safety buffer of a, of a handful of days. My next point is all about dodgy employees. Now, I'm sure you won't have any, and I really hope that you don't end up in the position where you need to worry about this, but, as a business, you need to protect yourself. If you've got someone who's sharing data, who's up to something that they shouldn't be, um, or maybe is just massively incompetent, then as a business, you need a complete record of your communications as an entity with your customers and everyone that you work with, in case you end up in a position where you're in an employment tribunal, for example. We recommend MailStore Server because it's much easier to find messages, it's faster because you've got the folder browsing, and also you've got that extra peace of mind against that particularly determined employee that it's a completely separate service. Another reason to use MailStore Server is when it comes to service outages. Now, any platform is going to have these, and if you look, it's been fairly well covered in the press, Microsoft have had some, but during that period, it does mean that you don't have access to your mail. If you've got a copy locally, you can still see what you said to a customer, what they've said to you, and it's not we're not selling it as a, a business continuity solution, but it is a copy of your mail that you can then access when you, when you need it. Rounding up the benefits for using MailStore Server with 365 is the fact that it's essentially unlimited storage. Now, Microsoft, I know, do give you a fairly generous allocation of 50 gigabytes. That's shared your mailbox and your archive on the basic plans. And you can see that you might run into that over time. MailStore is very efficient in the way that it stores its data too, so you've got deduplication and compression of attachments. So that really is never gonna be an issue. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget you can find a 30-day trial, which is really easy to set up with 365. Pricing and everything else you'll need on our website. Look at the links in our description notes, and don't forget to subscribe.